Science 6, Quarter 3, Module 1. Lesson 1, Describe Friction. Don't forget to subscribe! Friction plays a vital role in our everyday life. Whatever we do, wherever we go, friction is present. Even when we are sitting down, standing or holding a bottle or any object, friction affects us. Friction occurs between the surfaces of two objects in contact, rubbing or sliding against one another. It is sometimes considered undesirable, yet it plays an important role in our daily activities. Identify the following if it shows a push or a pull to move the given objects or persons. Force is a blank and blank. Friction is always present everywhere. It affects our daily activities. What is friction? How does friction occur? Are just some common questions that you may want to ask. You will better understand and describe friction by doing the following activity. Activity. Roll and stop. In this activity, you will need any round object available at home like a ball, a tin can, or a tomato in the floor. Get the ball or any available round object and put it on the floor. Push the ball gently to allow it to roll on the floor, Observe the movement of the ball. Based on your observations, answer the following questions. What happened to the ball after it was pushed? What caused the stopping of the ball? Which of the following statements are true about friction? A. Friction is produced by a single object. B. Friction is a force that opposes motion. C. Friction is an energy that moves the object. D. Friction acts opposite to the direction of an object's motion. E. Friction exists between the surfaces of two objects rubbing against each other. Friction is a force that opposes an object's motion resulting in the slowing down or even stopping the moving object. In the activity, when the ball was pushed, it rolled on the floor and stopped after a few seconds. It is the friction between the ball and the floor that caused the stopping of the ball. But how does friction occur? While the ball is rolling on the floor, the surface of the rolling ball rubs against the surface of the floor. Friction always acts opposite the direction of an object's motion. The floor exerts a frictional force opposite the ball's motion. 
friction does not only occur on the surfaces of solid objects rubbing against one another, but it also occurs when air particles rub against objects falling down, thrown upward, and flying airplanes and kites. The force that opposes the movement of objects in air is called air friction or air resistance. You will learn more about it in the next lesson. Tell whether the statements are true or false. Friction acts in a direction the same as the direction of the object's motion. Friction occurs when the surfaces of the two objects rub against each other. Friction causes moving objects to stop. Friction is produced by a single object. Friction opposes motion of objects. Choose the word that best completes the following sentences. Friction is a force, energy, that opposes the motion of objects. When two surfaces of two objects rub against each other, friction, mass, exists. Friction always acts, opposite, the same, the direction of the object's motion. Describe friction by completing the following sentences. Friction is a force that blank motion of an object. Friction acts blank to the direction of moving objects. Friction exists when two surfaces blank against each other. Friction can cause moving objects to blank. Thanks for